my god. Not who to send me the Easy Blur Primer and Foundation. We gotta try this on and see what's up. And I have a whole lineup of Fenty's new lipsticks and lip liners. Let's try those on in this video as well. I was sent three shades, Espresso 600N, Hot Fudge 550R, and Cocoa 510R. Now, I don't know if any of these are gonna be my shade. Cocoa 510R is for deep tan skin with neutral red undertone. Hot Fudge 550R is for rich skin with a neutral red undertone. Espresso 600N is the darkest shade and that is for deep rich skin with a neutral undertone. Here are all the colors for dark skin. There aren't nearly enough. Maybe I wish I had gotten Lava Cake 590R, but then again, I just know that R is not for me. So maybe, God, I think Hot Fudge, rich skin with neutral red undertone. I just don't want red. We're gonna try it anyway. Reading from this pamphlet, which is really helpful. Let's learn a little bit about this foundation. It's easy blur foundation. It's supposed to blur the skin. It's supposed to be skin smoothing because it has niacinamide. So skincare ingredients in it, pore blurring silica. It's gonna feel like a serum and give an airbrushed finish. We're gonna be the judge of that, okay? This is paired with the primer, which is supposed to be a refreshing jelly-like soft focus finish primer. It's supposed to be moisturizing and instantly blur pores and smooth texture. Okay, let's just try this whole thing out. Now, I have begun with skincare. That's always a must. We're not gonna skip skincare even if we have a primer. That doesn't make any sense. So make sure you do your skincare. Oh, it's a light purple or pink. Let's focus this here, which is where I normally, should you pat and rub? Hold on, how, do, how does she want us to do this? What is it? What is it doing, you know? I mean, is my skin blurred? It's not mattifying, right? It's supposed to be hydrating. I don't want to rub too much because like I said, I've done my skincare and we're never gonna skip that. I don't want anything to pill or act crazy. And I will say that nothing is pilling right now. So even though it looked really white like that in the beginning, nothing to be alarmed about. It does feel cooling. So the jelly, not cooling like, like menthol in it, but it feels cool. Like just, it just feels cool. That's not, maybe that's just my skin, okay? So there's that. We have the primer on now. For your reference, this is Espresso 600M. I like the oh oh crap hold on uh not a good idea okay I like that it has a dropper but it, I thought this was gonna be like the Urban Decay face bond where the dropper doesn't make a mess okay well this one does so note to self this is a very deep beautiful shade I obviously cannot show this or compare it for you in any way because it's not gonna fit me at all but if you have a deeper skin tone and if you have tried this comment and let me know I will say already like I did there aren't enough shades like there just aren't. I just messed up the cap of this. I'm so annoyed. I'm going to donate this. I'm going to give this away. So if you do end up getting this in your box, just know that this is what happened. I went to go share it and then it made a mess. Okay. Yeah. Don't be alarmed. Now this is hot fudge. Oh man. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have done this video. I don't think this is going to match me. We're going to put hot fudge on the face. If anything, this might match my face, but you know that I don't like to match my face. I like to match my neck and chest. I just wouldn't do this. Okay, so looking at this, you might be like, that's your shade. Just know that I would never wear this shade of foundation because again, I like to match my neck and chest. So it's a yes and a no, you feel me? I don't ever wear foundation without a full face. It's either full face or nothing at all. So this to match my face, I would never do. It needs to match my neck and chest because after I highlight and contour and do the whole face, it all comes together. We always talk about that. So I'm not be able to do this foundation. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, well at least let me show you if it blurs. It also doesn't match the darker parts of my face. You see, my chin around my mouth area is darker. That's not gonna match that area. I mean, it does look pretty. Oh. <laughs> And this is always a challenge when I get sent PR because you know, it's, it's hit or miss. Let's try the new Patrick Ta. I wonder if any of these are gonna fit me now. I will say when I first saw these, I was like, none of these are gonna match. But then I saw people on TikTok finding their match. Basically the foundation in the glass just didn't look the same as it does when you squeeze it out. So here they are. And if you look at all of them, you're immediately, if you're like me, you're gonna say, oh, these don't match me. Wouldn't it be crazy if one of these actually does match me? This is 26 neutral, obviously not my shade. This is 27 neutral. Maybe. That's a maybe, because I love a good neutral. And this is 28 golden. The golden is looking a little red. I'm gonna go with 27 neutral. Maybe we actually have a foundation for this look today. Maybe we do. Okay, so Patrick Ta, Major Skin Hydro Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. Let's get into it. Ooh, ooh. It's looking real good. I'm gonna use this Huda brush, honey. It's looking olive, but it is nice and deep. You might be thinking, oh my God, this is so dark. Again, we're matching my neck and chest. My face is lighter than my body. And it makes sense that he came out with a luminous foundation because as the weather warms up, like I've been telling y'all, and I'm gonna keep reminding you, you want to 
start to walk away from your, your mattifying foundations. If you have combo skin like me, and then you wanna move into your more hydrating ones because the cooler the weather is outside, the more dry your skin on your whole body is gonna feel, even your scalp. When I go to a cold weather area in the winter time, my scalp be feeling dry, okay? Your scalp is skin too. So just note that you wanna switch to something more hydrating as the weather cools down. All right, is this a medium coverage foundation? Because I can still see my brows, you feel me? It is luminous, ooh. I heard him mention on TikTok that there's no mica. Is this your mica? He said that it's this, the luminosity comes from the, I think he said the hydrate, hydrating products that are in the actual foundation, not any kind of shimmer. My, I can still see my skin. This is, this is medium coverage. The luminosity looks beautiful. It looks stunning. It does look great. If you like a medium coverage foundation, you have skin that you love, that you're not trying to cover up for any reason, whether you like it or you have blemishes. If you don't have too many of those issues and you want a medium coverage foundation, this is gonna be for you. I like it. Okay, let's do the full face and then jump to the lippies from Fenty. All right, makeup is done. Now we're gonna do the lip swatches. I have all the lip liners and all the lipsticks. Let's mix and match because I want to I want to put some combos together. I don't want to just do them and it looks hideous, you know? So these are called the Fenty Trey Style Pencil Lip Liners. This is the shade 09, Cold Blooded. It's C-O-A-L, which is nice. Oh, it's, uh, okay, it's not a twist up, but they are soft. It definitely looks like a soft crayon, which I love. So this is very dark. Oh, wait, this is too dark. A lot darker than I thought. Okay, I don't like how dark this is. It looks black. Okay, cold blooded, here we are. <sighs> Fresh out the gate. This is dark on me. This will be beautiful if you have deep dark skin, darker than me, clearly. This would look great. On my skin tone, wow, it looks black. Okay, it reminds me of middle school when I used to wear black liner, <laughs> me and my friend. You know what I'm gonna do then? With this liner, I'm gonna do the hot chocolate gloss bomb stick because it's a, it's a plum dark color. Let's just stick with the whole dark theme. Cause I mean, it is fall. The detail with the Fenty monogram is so cute. Oh, okay. These two go together real good. Now this is not a lippy that I normally would wear. You know me, I don't like a dark lip. However, if you do, this is a gorgeous combo. This is very juicy, very juicy. Not like a lip gloss because it feels richer. Cause usually the glosses I feel are more, they, they slide off more. This one feels more rich in a great way. This is cute, what do you think? This is the second to darkest traced out pencil lip liner and this is browned out number eight. I think this is gonna be my perfect dark brown. Let's see, yeah, this is giving chestnut from MAC. It looks pretty, got a reddish undertone, which is great. This is nice and dark in the best way. Okay, this is so cute and they go on so easily. I love that. We have some lighter liners in here. Obviously, I would never put these lighter ones around my lips. So let's fill in the inside of the lip with them. One thing Fenty gonna do is just get these names together. It's number five, rubber bands. And go ahead and take your light, ooh, crap. Wait, these are so soft. You really gotta be easy. Oh my God, I'm so rough. <laughs> They're so soft and creamy. That just broke off. Oh, go easy with them, girl. If you have full lips with all these ridges like me, go easy. Okay, we're gonna give this a good sharpen using my lip bar. Pencil shopping up. Okay, now the liner is not as thick. Let's go soft, because this is so creamy. I mean, it feels like a matte lipstick creamy mm, that's cute i like this shade for a subtle nude ombre combination <laughs> You gotta blend it. They're very dry, which is how a liner should be. So when you put it on the inside, it's gonna feel very matte. You feel what I'm saying? But I like how this looks. This is my kind of new combination for sure. Let's put one of these lipsticks on the inside of it to just zhuzh it up a little bit. This is the Gloss Bomb Sticks. Number two, it's called Two Lip Kiss, T-W-O Lip Kiss. Although these are pretty full coverage, let's just put this over this liner because I think it's gonna be so pretty. Oh. It made it a little bit pink, huh? I thought this was gonna be more peach. I wonder if it got pink because of the liner. It might be more peach by itself. Is this peach by itself? It looks pink to me, what do you think? For this one, that auto packaging does not match the inside, in my opinion. That's pink. I think it's a great lip combo. What do you think? Comment, let me know. This is their darkest lip pencil. It's number seven and it's a shade I wouldn't. That is so funny, I wouldn't, W-O-O -O wouldn't. What, girl, <laughs> Fenty, Fenty be doing a lot for you, okay. All right, let's try this. I think this will be a nice color on me as well. Okay. This is a smidge, if you know cork from MAC, it's a smidge darker than cork, I think. Although I have not used cork in a long time. This one looks like my foundation shade. It's got some olive in it. This looks like my lip. Mmm, I like this brown. Very nice. And I'm gonna pair this with the Gloss Bomb Stick number seven. It's called Sorta Selfish. And I think this will be really pretty. I think this lip pencil can also go with number two, two lip kiss. This is number seven, so let's see. 
Ooh. A nice muted, muted, very muted, almost can't even see it, nude. Very pretty. Now imagine this with one of the darker lip pencils, this will pop more. So if the outer part of your lip, which is the liner, is darker than the inner part, which is which would be with this gloss bomb lipstick, then it'll make the inner part pop because you know me, I like a good ombre, okay? So a darker lip pencil, if you choose this lipstick and you're around my skin tone, it'll pop on you very nicely. Ooh. Now this looks like nothing. My, my lip looks almost invisible. And that's what you call an actual nude, like non-existent. How cute! These gloss bombs are very comfortable. I can't get over that. They feel good. They don't feel like they're gonna just slide off with one sip of a drink, you feel me? This liner is a shade Peanut Butter. It's number four, traced out lip liner. And I already know, yeah, it has to go in the middle. It is way too light to go on the outer part of my lips. Look at that. If I, uh oh, I'm in a little vest. If I just put this on the inner part of my lip, and isolate out the outer part, it looks like I have on liner. Because <laughs> my natural lip color. So that's always a trick, you know? If you wanted to just put a lighter liner on the inside of your lip and then put a clear gloss all over if you don't make this mess that I made right here, you got yourself a lip combo. You feel me? You don't have to do a liner around it. That's a little tip for you, honey. This looks very pretty. I am gonna line it because <laughs> we're here, why not? This is the traced out lip liner and this is 08 browned out. I already used it. Let's go around. Yeah, it's just making it a little bit darker. And I'm bringing the liner in, okay? Because I want it to ombre. I did do the liner on the inside and then the outside. Normally I go out then in, but I just wanted to try something different. So my liner looks a lot thicker than usual. You could go back and fix the inside, but we are gonna put a lipstick on the inside, okay? So it's just all about how you want it to look. I wanted to bring it in so that it can ombre better and it will. Once I put this other lipstick on top of it, this is the gloss bomb stick in the number 03. It's called Fenty Glow. I think this is gonna be a beautiful nude to put on top of this shade, yes. It looks it's pink also. It's coming off just like number two. And this is number, oh, this is number three. Yeah, they're close together, so it makes sense. So creamy, richly pigmented, just so nice. I'm trying to get it on the inside of my lips so it's more comfortable. This looks so good. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. And the blend, it's making my liner look like it's purple. And this is not purple, the liner is brown. Brown and pink is gonna give you a little purple, you feel me? Especially since this brown has a red undertone to it. I love it, I love this. I think it's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. So far, which combo is your favorite? I just have to know. We're gonna hop over to some reds. This is the MVP, it's number 10. It's like a red mauve. It looks a lot more red on camera. Actually, no, it is red. <laughs> okay, this is red. <laughs> I thought this was mine. Okay, let's line. Oh, I haven't. Wow. Fiery. I have not worn a red. This is fiery. <gasps> this is stunning. It's a strawberry red. I have not worn a red liner since working at the counter at MAC. Wow. This is nice. <gasps> Wow, no, this shade is beautiful. What? Now you may or may not like to wear lip liners. The whole point is that, at least back in the day, the lipsticks would bleed. They would just eventually migrate off of the edges of our lips. And that's why lip liners became so important. These days, is that happening? I don't know. I don't know that that's happening. So you can go with or without a lip liner, but that was what was going on years ago. Okay, I'm not gonna bring this in much because we're gonna put a lipstick on top, but you can do this on your whole lip. This is stunning. This gloss bomb stick is actually named after the liner. So this is number 10 MVP. Oh, wait a minute. Are these, is this one full cover? Mm -hmm. It's not full coverage. I did not put this lip pencil all over my lip. Should I have? Because I can still see the darkness of my lips underneath. I can even see my spots underneath here. So what you can do if you really want to make sure that your lippy is full, full coverage, take the liner and go all over the whole lip. So let's see if there's a difference between the top lip and the bottom. Ooh, I'm scratching myself because this, this pencil needs to be sharpened again. It's so annoying. And then spread the lips open. You want the lip pencil to settle in your creases because when you smile, you don't want there to be any gaps. Okay, so we have liner all over the top lip. Definitely go ahead and do that if your lipstick is not so full coverage. This is giving more medium. So let's compare. Yeah. Okay, it looks crazy because the whole lip is red. <laughs> but the top looks so much better than the bottom because I can see the fullness of the color. Now, if you want it to look more medium, if you have pigment on your lips, if your lips look like mine, go for it. Do what you want to do. You feel what I'm saying? But if you want it to be more full coverage, take the liner and go all over your lip and then put a lipstick on top. And that goes for any color, depending on how you want it to look on you. It's looking crazy because the top and the bottom don't match. But this is very pretty. Starting off with browned out again, number eight, around the lip. 
lips. I'm gonna use the Traced Out Lip Pencil in the shade Extra Thigh 06. And this is a lighter brown that I just know will be too light to go around my lips. I'm trying to be easy with how soft this is. This is so stunning. Ooh, I love this combo. Jeez, this looks like another Fenty Liquid Lip Pencil something or other that I have. I'm going so light, I don't want this to break. I'm gonna go to the side and do a little sideways. Hmm, this is so pretty. And you see how, uh oh, I opened it on this side. You see how I brought that browned out on the outside, I brought it in. And then I did this extra thigh. This is number six on the inside. This is a subtle, beautiful, yo, I could stop right here. I could stop right here. And it makes my teeth look so white. This shade is great. It's like an olive brown, something or other. It almost looks dark, but it looks beautiful. It's like a 90s dark. This is stunning. You can't tell me this is not bomb. I don't want to put anything on top of it. I like this so much, but we have to move on. Oh, we have to move on. This is the Gloss Bomb Sticks number one, and the shade is called Blazed Donut. Now this is gonna be a real light pink. I think it'll be a great blend. Oh, it's, mm, hold on, okay. This is a cool toned pink, okay? Like blue. Do you see it? It's like blue gray. Uh, that ain't for me. It might be for you though. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm making a mess, hold on. <laughs> okay, so contrast between this lipstick and the liner is making the liner look black. It's also making the liner look a little blue because this is a cool toned lipstick. Cool, think blue. You feel what I'm saying? So it's looking gray, blue, black. I don't like this combo at all, but I liked it beforehand. So mix and match is how you want it. You might wanna put this with a different liner. You feel me? That's the fun part about swatching these lipsticks. You know, go in store, put it on your hand, see how you feel. Hell, buy it, try it out. If you don't like it, return it. You feel what I'm saying? Don't keep what you don't like. This has a time and a place. I just don't do cool lipsticks. I love a good warm. Lipstick, I love warmth. I mean, check out the fire in the background, hello. Let's jump back over to 07. This is I Wouldn't, W-O-O. -O. Oh, this is the one that matches my skin tone, yeah. I forgot. Actually, it went darker, but here we are. <laughs> and this lip liner is number two. It's called Thugs Blush 2, which is so funny. And nice pink. I'm going on the side, trying not to break this. Depending on your skin tone, you could line your lips with this, but obviously for me, it needs to go on the inside. That's pretty. <gasps> God, I broke it again, yo, can you all stop? I was doing my hardest too, my darndest. Okay, I can blend a little bit of this. We get the idea and this is pretty. It's a soft pink. This with a gloss, which is what this gloss bomb stick is, medium coverage gloss, would be really pretty, so let's do it. This is the gloss bomb stick 04, it's called, is it fussy? Is it fussy? Let's try this out. I think it'll be dark. Oh no, it's pretty, yeah, it matches. Oh, it matched exactly. Thanks for my baby doll. Mm, how sweet. I like this with the line that I have on right now because if I had done the darker liner 08, it would have looked, because this is still cool, it's still in the cool tone, it's still looking a little bit blue, it would have made my outer lip look almost black. So this combo is good. This is cute, what do you think? Back with 08, browned out. Oh, I gotta sharpen this, hang on. Just a little bit, nothing too crazy. I don't want this stuff breaking on me again. Ooh, now it's scratching me. That's why I can't stand about sharpening pencils. Oh, let's go on the side softly. Kill it. <laughs> I was about to say, killing me softly. Look at that. I'm so irritated. Oh, I'm doing this because of you. I want to show you all these lip combos that I'm thinking of. Oh, I got to sharpen this again when I want to use it. I'm so annoyed. Okay, so we have enough on to move on. So let's just move on. Mm. <laughs> Here we go, satin panty. And that's how we're looking. Ooh, it's a peach. Ooh. Oh, it's almost red. Okay. I'm trying to go soft and light. Yeah, it's a reddish. Try not to break this. Okay, let's just transfer. Let's transfer to the top. Uh oh, that didn't transfer well. <laughs> okay, this looks crazy because of how I'm putting it on. I'm trying not to break it. It's definitely looking reddish. In a nice way, it's interesting. This is the number eight gloss bomb stick. It's called Spice Cold. And let's put this over. Okay. Wait, this one's a little mauve. This one's a little bit purple. <laughs> so it's changing the combo up a little bit. And again, because it's on the cooler side, at least it looks like it on me, it's making this liner look a little bit purple. Although the liner is brown, you know? Hmm. I used to wear lip combos like this back in the day. Like when I was in the office, I would do this sometimes. This is cute. It's like a nude, but it's a mauve, so there's a color. I mean, it's all color, it's all pigment, but you know what I mean? It's not a brown. It's a 
pinky brown with a little bit of red. What do you think? Comment, let me know. This one's called Riri number one. So I wonder if this is her fave. No idea. Ooh, this is a nice pink. Ooh, putting this in the middle, of course. So pretty. Ooh, it's like a purpley pink. It's so gorgeous, like baby doll. Like bubble gum, but not really. No, bubble gum would be, be too light and cool. This is not bubble gum. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh my gosh, Riri. Ooh. Love. Now, what liner should I do? I don't know. Let me do I wouldn't. Number seven. I almost wanted to twist. I keep wanting to twist the. No, it looks dark. I mean, I wouldn't. looks just like my lip. It literally is my lip. Hold on. <laughs> this is my. This is the one that looks like my skin tone. Yeah. I mean, it looks like nothing. Okay. I love the tone of this. Wow. I have two gloss bombs left. I guess we'll go with this one. Yeah. Let's do it. This is hibiscus, and the high is spelled H I. G H. Stun it. Oh, it's cool tone. It's looking blue. Huh. I think those two are the same. The liner and the lip gloss. Or the gloss bomb. I think it's the same. It looks a little darker, but still really pretty. I don't have any lipstick that looks like this. And you see how because it has a blue in it, it's making the liner, in my opinion, come and let me know, making the liner look purple. I like this combo. I don't want to take this one off. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna hand swatch the last one because I like this lippy. This last one is oh, this is Riri. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is the one that matches the one I, the line I just put on just now. Okay, this is Riri. I'm so annoyed. I didn't look at all these before. I was just trying them on. So this is Riri. Aw, so cute. And here's a swatch of it on my hand. I think this is so gorgeous. Of course I have my faves. Come and let me know down below which of these combos are your fave. And if you love the video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on all socials and subscribe here. Whew, what a video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.